So these particular type of retinal cells have a protein on them and we can delete that protein. So the mouse still has all of its rods and cones, but is missing a particular part of this cell. Uh, so it still has parts of the brain that make a clock, but it does not have a way of sensing sunlight to help uh, regulate that clock. And so again, that causes the mice to have a regular cycle, but it is not regulated by light or dark. Any other questions or shall we keep going? Yes, yes, yeah. Someone raise hand, yes. Uh-huh. So sometimes we uh, do suffer some sort of you know, insomnia or sleep depression, uh, depravity. 
So does these are because of the uh, disruptions in the circadian rhythm or due to something else? Um, so does the sleep depression, is that due to circadian rhythms? Is that the question? Depri deprivation of the sleep or the, you know, the disturbances of the sleep quality or the insomnia or whatever. So we uh, were saying. Absolutely. So um, some other, uh, other days are going to be devoted to how we disrupt our sleep cycle. Uh -huh. But one thing that we know is very disruptive is looking at um, screens at night. Phones um, produce a particular type of light that is very disruptive to your sleep cycle. And looking at phones right before bed is associated with uh, poor circadian rhythm and depression. So his question is, uh, 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 do there any you know, difference of the eye blinking rate uh, uh, between uh, age differences, someone, you know, compared to the young adult and then the old age? That's a great question that I have n um, not looked into. It is, I imagine it is difficult because if someone is thinking about their blink, their eye blinking, they tend to blink more. So you would have to set up an experiment where they don't know you are looking at how many times they are blinking. Because I'm not sure that anyone naturally blinks 40 times a minute. Okay. All right, so let's continue our discussion of how circadian rhythms evolve and the processes of evolution. So there any fitness advantage based on a daily cycle can be selected for through evolution. For instance, we gave the example of whether you are awake during the day or awake during the night. 
Pena chasa na ngazu pensu kare shagi yore siddhi sambala ane kyona ane chigi nyimi kongle ya nyi seje dinde imba ya menan ceni ya ane seje de dinge dinde imba se diris. Early mammals are thought to have evolved in the time of dinosaurs. Cheza da ngazu ane dinosaur yebe kable ya ane kare sugore nyusu simje dzu chedi ane kunzu pige la ngamba chaya la yoto gisto ne ane dinde chungsha ba jingiri sila gyo resta kunzu. And we think that dinosaurs were mostly active during the day. Then Anzu Kala Gyor Kari Kari Haku Yore Sidi Zambala, and then Anzu Dinosaur Gosha Duzute, Manche Kari Sidi Zambala, and then Semula and the Trubuyo Deva Trumbuyo Deva Dindicha de Gyores. And it is thought that our researchers think that mammals um, evolved to be nocturnal to avoid being uh, caught by these dinosaurs. Dilla de Zambala, and then Chicken City, but Zucare Tongu Yore, Sukari Karsugore, Samu Kogu Yore, Sidi Zambala, and Nusu Simji in the Zoo Chede, and Tindegi, and in Jiba Lechawa Gechedo, and a Chick Pigella, and in Semu Yuan, Semu Tombu in a chasm with the Sujatu. You said the dinosaurs are more active during the day or night? During the day. During the day, one that the Nimula and Tongu de Dian, Tanjing and the Dishanet to your Malcolm. Yes, okay. Although we don't know for sure. Yes, the Tendizing as a Hakuyo um, Maris. We do know reptiles tend to be active during the day, but they are also um, basking in the sun. Chesa de Ledu Zambala, Kalaguri Lava in Baina, Ane Nanzu, Ane Tondusim Jinjurwa, Tondusim Jin to Zucha de Kari, Sidi Zambala, Ane Nimi Konlia, Ane Tumbuce, Tumbuina, Ane Chicken Nimala Karse, or Uasa or Karse, or that this sort of Jing and the day you devish had the URS. And there are probably many types of reptiles that have active uh, nighttime as well. But well, we always, we often see this again, push pull between the predator and the prey. So there are types of birds that are active during the day and especially during the morning and the evening. But there are other birds like owls that are active at night, so they can catch mammals that are active at night. Chesa Dilla de Zambalaya, and it's Penachasana, and it's a Sha Ubegi Soda with a day, and one than Semula Tombu in Jenju the day, and then you may call a Tombu Mayang at the day you rest, did in Semula Tombu Chi Zambala, and Kunzuki, and Nusu Simjid in the Kashi Kashi in Jewish in the Satu or was. So some of these uh, behavioral changes are encoded for in our DNA. Chesa Dilla de Zambala, and then she jig in Jua Kashi Chik, the dig the dig in Swimbig, and the dig in Swimbig, she jig in Jua Kashi Chik. And throughout the week, we will talk about mutations that change how um, our behavior, our circadian rhythm behavior acts. So let's remind ourselves what mutations are and how they can cause evolution. So mutations are what is the cause of variation throughout all species. And with no mutation, there's no variation and there is no evolution. Chesa Dilla de Sambala, Kesi, Nijudi Meva Yimba Yina, and a Pigella, and a Chigi, 
chenom jurse mando mando yundi gidi yo mare kisi di me ba yimba ina ane pinju chungu yo mare remember that these mutations have to occur in the germline chezan de le sambala namba so nge go echi kar cha yungu yo re su di sambala tinde gi rize gi jubob di khawa gan le yungu yo re su di sambala ane nga zo ane phame gi ane khuta gi thabu jo ro wa khamdu samsa khamdu ina khabu ina khambur su jo do ta khanda dinde khan ma ane yungu yo Except in the case of epigenetics. Ta ani pena cha cha na da mise change kare yore sudi sambala nganzo ani rizile give in jubo shungu yorwa di pa pi be ani thangara di cha di yore. So let's look at some examples of mutations. An ta nganzo ani rize ni jubo thone penzo kaje jigal ta indas. So here is an example of an albino zebra. Which, which does not have the stripes that a normal zebra has. If this mutation allowed this zebra to survive, then it would pass on those genes to its offspring. It is important to note that mutations by themselves are not necessarily good or bad. But if they um if they confer an advantage, then they can be selected for. Uh, there is the example of multiple or six fingers on a hand. And if this, if there's an advantage to this, then that gene could be passed on. Some mutations help you to be um, immune from certain diseases. For instance, there are certain blood types that are more resistant to the disease malaria. Let's also remember that mutations can cause speciation, different species to form. And let's not forget what our definition of species is. They share a distinctive form and can interbreed and produce viable and fertile offspring. And so a group of a particular species that all interact with each other is a population. And 
So this would be a population of zebras. Now how do the stripes evolve in a zebra? It's thought that the zebra's stripes help it avoid predators. So to our eyes, it may seem like this is not good camouflage. But it is thought that zebras altogether make it hard for a predator to find one zebra to attack. So how do these different traits and different mutations evolve? So it was it was a proposed that the characteristics, the behavior of the animal caused the mutations. Uh, it was thought that the giraffe reached for a higher branch and that's why it had a longer neck. But when Darwin studied natural selection, we know that those giraffes with longer necks were selected for. And in particular, long neck giraffes, especially the males, can um, fight other males and have more offspring. As we discussed yesterday, though, the behavior or uh, how a organism a living thing lives can affect the next generation. So here we see two examples of DNA, one that is very closed and one that is open. And whether the DNA is open or closed can affect the characteristics of the um, living thing, the individual. 
Chesa di lo di zambala, kari cha gi yore sidi zambala, ane rize di, ane kache yo wada, kache mere se ya digi, ane kari lo shugyen te gi yore sidi zambala, ane che di yang khanza ge koran ki, ane chone gi, che gi cheju mandawa, manji mandawa shorwa, o dunzul ya shugyen te gi yore sidi, takana jewa cha de gi yore sidi. So how do we organize these different species? Tang azu ke keje si kari sidi zambala, ane azu che di nyiri mandawa, mandawa dunzul te di su, ane korim dao jidi ba yimba yina, ane azu korim kandir di gure se ya dire es. We've got um, different species that evolve at different times. Nazu ini samun cili kare kongu yore sudut sambala cili nyiri manda wadu zu tede ane tuze manda wadu manda wena wala ane nazu peju chung yoba ji samun tangu yore es hagu yore es. And so we can make a tree that connects all the different species together. Cezan di lebi sambala ane nazu kare che tu yore sudut sambala ane shing dong dide suye che dongbu dide suye che dongbu digi nalo wala ane cili nyiri tama ane pasu ane jewa dintu tu yore es takanda. And as we think about evolution, we think about these different trees, just like we think about a family tree. And so we can put these different types of zebras and these trees can be drawn in different ways so you can have a tree that looks like this or a tree that looks like this and where you see the branch point of the tree describes a common ancestor. And some species are more closely related than others. In the past, much of this work was done by looking at the characteristics of the or organisms, but now we use DNA. And so we can do this with um, African horses like zebras or elephants. In a certain sense, you can look at this as a chain, but it is more appropriate to look at it as a tree. And so a group of the early species can branch off and become a new species. And that, for, and that original species can keep evolving. So here we can learn that two million years ago there were many different species of elephants. 
Cheza di lo di sambala da di peri di na lo ngazu kare ta to wu yore sidu sambala lo sa ni jeng wu nzig na lo lo ane ngazu de ane kare se wu re <hesitation> lang jeng ki ane <hesitation> nyiri ma da wu ma mu shiwi ji pe ju chong yo wu de ngazu a haku wu yore s. And currently there are only two species of elephants. Cheza ane <hesitation> tan de pe lo na te ne ma mu chong yo re de ta de cha lo ngazu yo shi wu de kare cha de yore sidu sambala a lang jeng nyiri ni ma da la yo ma re s ta de cha lang jeng nyiri ni yo re s. Can also look at the phylogenetic tree of reptiles. Tando yung anzo pena chasin ng sudi ni rizig in pering guto ni ni dumbo rizig dumbo guto ni ni tondo sim simjig in sudi rizig dumbo le tayo yung bang anzo tane di di chow yores. Where we see four uh, main types of reptiles. Chesa ang anzo di na lang karit tungo yores sudi sa balah ane tondo gis simjig rima nawa siyo ba jido si ni tondo gis yores din na tungo duas. Or, I, or also you can you can count them as five, and birds and mammals as well came from reptiles uh, in the deep past. Cheza di lagi sambala yan karan so ngat si nendi gi yores ta kanda ane chiu da ane chigi karese wore a nusu simje yorwa dunzu chedi an tuze ane pa pujan debi gi debi gi da karese pujan risa jela pa te bayi bayi na kunzu yan. Ani tunggu semacam ini mah, ani pergi cuma cawar es dalam negeri orang. Plants also evolved into um, all the different types of plants that we see today. Jadi nanti lagi sambala, ani tanda ganjil tuh dengjogi, ani cincin ri mandau wa mampu sibuk juga orang. Dengjogi tadi ya, ani cincin ani kahar segore, mandau mandau wajan itu sini, ani pergi cuma cawar es dalam negeri orang. The first plants existed in water, but eventually. Um, Migrated to land and became the plants that we see all around us today. Cheza di lo di sambala ani cheshi thoma di peje peje karese gore ta thoma di ani chui na nola ani shirku yusa na nola an kia vache thine rimbe rimbe ani che kamsa le yalle thine ani rimbe peju thone ani thanda ganzu thong di agi ani cheshi mambu jori manda mambu jor wa o dunzu yu vacha res. And so. Um, mutations eventually led to this diversity in life. Cheza di ladi sambala tonda dolo karere lana rizigi niju chuma tiki ani da cheso namangi rangshi jorwa na zo rinda mara mabu shune jorwa di yuma di niju gi jujin chebare tene ani yomba re sta kanda tonda dolo di. And this question was asked yesterday, but there are there usually requires many mutations to occur. For a new species to occur. Cheza di ladi sambala chida di ani karese wore ani kazangi chiva jilele songu sirwa ta species ta pena cha cha na ani chigi chide niri niri sawa jitu balas niri niri sawa jitu balas ani pege rinze gi niju di chigza maimba ani anchi rinze gi niju mangu shivi ji yonche ne sine ani chiju se wora tanga zu niri sawa chwele cha digi wores. Um, and it, we're not sure exactly how much time it takes, but for um, organisms, it it does seem to take a long time for organism multicellular organisms. Cheza ane di lele sambala tuje kaju stig tuje kaju sungo wu yeme di ngazu ki hakutu wu yomares yimba ina ya ane ngazu ane chig chamu mandengi socha rabujil cha cha ba yimba ina da di ane chig ni ni ri semba jile poju do wala tuje kanda. Um, any questions about the mutations that we've gone over, or file, or the trees that we've looked at? Cheza, that number two, any tanda padang anzu do sanjogi, any rize ni jugu thoni imba ina re, any tanda cheso ge dombo thoni imba ina re, tanda padang do sanjogi didan tevegi, any number two la chwa ke yuenas. Yes, yes. Tundo one more. Ini tuh ada tanda di mana. Rizie ni jur lagi tu. Oh. Rizie ni jur sedih tanda jeng kepala ya. Ani jundo cinci cunggu orang itu. Yang di mana iba. Rizie kurang lagi nanol tanda jua cinci. Di ni tuh ni yang gini na. Pena tu ngaju poli muli tu iba na. Al. Tadi ko Rizie ni jur. Pada di. Okay. Okay. So his question is when you talk about the mutation. So does mutation occurs at the structures of the DNA or the sequence of the genes? 
and also can we uh, consider you know transgenders you know transgenders has uh, you know uh, transgenders happen due to some sort of you know having a mutation sure so remember that uh, dna is uh, what a gene is made of so when we talk about mutations to a gene, we are also talking about mutations to DNA. And there are many, many genes or there can be many genes that make up a single trait. And sometimes it is not just one mutation, but many mutations that exist to change a trait. So the way sexual reproduction works is that it shuffles the DNA for the mother and father to make a new combination. Chesantilitambala and the other question was about uh, transgender and what mutations may cause that. And the answer is, is that it is very complicated. It is um gender is something that is determined a lot by society and there is a, a component of physiology what um sexual organs someone was born with but during development, there are many different factors that can occur that causes someone to uh, associate with a different gender. I'll give you one example. Yes. In one example, we know that X chromosomes are associated with women or female. And XY is associated with male. However, we know of individuals who are XY who have a mutation that makes them look like female. 
Tila di sampai lepas na cah cah na angsu, ani X Y kan le ya, ani rizin ni juga cuma senjut itu cedih, ani pena cah kari yunggu yoris itu sampai lepas, pada itu sampai lepas, ani yang cik pemu sodra itu dia cah dia, dia yunggu yor was. And so, just the way people were born with different characteristics can cause an effect for the gender that they feel. Jadi dia lebih sambala, ane korang ane midi korang cium dia sambala, ane korang ki ane pegel lah, cik ceju ane mandor wah kare kare yunggu yunggu me digi thone, ane pegel lah cik kare segore, ane pomo ki nampat yunggu jor wah, pada dili ya, ane shugin tegi orang selagu orang, kanda digi cium cegi orang, lamban digi orang. And for many years, people who felt this way were judged and shamed by society. And so they felt like they needed to hide this part of themselves. And as science and society learn more about this, people feel more comfortable expressing what they feel. Okay, any other questions? Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear? Yes. So like a mutation in a particular animals or animals that leads to a new species. For example, like in human species, it seems like that the common ancestor in over the time, the common ancestor goes extinct. So why this mutation in like particular species that leads to a new species caused to extinct the common ancestor? For example, like let's say in in our group, a mutation occurs in me, and that leads to a new species over the time. But why the mutation? So, so the mutation in me does not has to. Extinct the common ancestor of us. So why it that? This one, the two things is about common. So that you get dry about common. You don't forget the relation. Then the the same thing. 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 Tanggiri sawat itu ni, tanggiri mido mangku sahdera. Ini ada Quran juga. Tumungi mebo de kalle kalle jik sadong doj 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 tunggu do. Tawar do khasang anzo migi mida anda champions itu konsu duksta do ganlo konsu gitu tumungi mebo mang sya doj jik sah dekik doj sya dekik do. Tadi anza penang anzo itu mi tu gini nanglo ni tangga mi cik la ani ngegir rezel ngegir teb ani dekik kalle kalle ani ngegir dekik wangi ani ngegir sawat itu ro. Tanggiri sawat itu ni anda ganlo Tanggiri sawaj itu dua ina yang, tanggung tu, ngah main bi jambat insu gi, ta gibat di, ta kah rancaj drogogi orang was, ta garjena ni tanda ta timon tu, mebo je orang, di cadang drogi orang is. Yes, I think I got it. Um, so remember that this is five million years ago. Ni apa je karik gogi orang sini sambal la, di ni tan di lo sayang orang kerja is cina. So this elephant will never be in the same population as this precursor.
So we can never do the experiment to see whether this elephant is in the same species as an elephant millions of years ago. So because of the way that these elephants look, we give them a new species. But for this elephant in its life, it will maybe go extinct, but after years and years and years. And so it's not the mutations that this species has that is causing it to go extinct. It's just we've seen a new species arise from that previous species. So uh, have you finished answering or you, you yes. want to continue? Yes. Let's, yes, do, okay. let's oh. do another question. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, the shop getting the peggy to this Ah, shower the peggy is legido. Uh huh. Then on the Darwin and Lamagi, the peggy number six and Uh huh. The cabal's all the current queen. Okay. So, uh, uh, you spoke about the uh, uh, a giraffe having you know different lengths of the neck and uh, it seems uh, in this context uh, we can speak about the difference between Lamarck's understanding and the Darwin's understandings of the evolution so uh, what are the main uh, key you know difference between these two uh, uh, scientists excellent so Lamarck thought that whatever an organism does during its life affects its offspring. For instance, let's say you lifted weights every day of your life would you have children who were stronger? And so we know now, and what Darwin said was that someone could have many children but the strongest ones were more likely to have more children. And for many, many years, everyone thought Darwin was right and Lamarck was wrong. But when we learned about epigenetics, we learned that there are some things that can be transmitted that aren't only in the letters of the DNA. For instance, 
humans who went through um, famines where they could not find food have different genes that cause them to um, gain more weight than other humans. And even though their children and even grandchildren have plenty of food, they still have the um, remnants of those genes that are turned on because of famine. And so the Bible says that so again, Lamarck thought it was what happens in an organism's lifetime that affects its children. And Darwin thought of survival of the fittest. Those that are able to survive have more offspring. <laughs> Let's continue to look at the tree of life. So in the tree of life, we have the origin of life, but we don't know exactly what that looked like. But we do think that that early life looked more like bacteria than um, animals. Remember that these branch points indicate a, an ancestor that was living around that time. And although we draw this as a very specific point, it is still many, many years, and we don't know exactly what that, that individual looked like. But there is a last common ancestor for each of these uh, anytime two species diverge. And we think that there are three major domains of life, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. Chesan Dilla Dissambala, Dangan Zupena Chasin, Cesogi, Yigela, and 
Chongi and Ya Teba in Baina, Telia, Chakun Masuna, Chapun Chega Sum Chadigiores, Chapun Chega Sum and Nola Chica Chagiores, Sambala, and Nanzu Tanda de Buchace, Tenema, and Akita Sinche, Tenema, and Nanzu, Ning then Chamus in Ukraine in Lagua, or the Chadigiores. And from those, we can also see all the different diversity of life that has formed. Chesa Dine, and Nanzu Karta, who you received Sambala, and Nichik Sezonama, Mambu Shivichik, and Tindeki Jurim Tonichung, you devoted Nanzu Hako to your rest. Including all the different animals that we that we see. Chesa Dina Karatsu, you received Sambala, and Nanzu Gi Tong Diegi, and Nichi Deniri Karso were the social desert to the Chazan Sudig your rest. So why doesn't a tree look in um, going from one life to another? Remember that evolution occurs more like branches and less like a chain. And part of that is the behavior of animals and the ability for different groups of animals to separate from each other. That's all the Chesichi So this is an example of how one species of birds can become two species of birds. That depends on Karacha de Gure Sidu Sambala, Penacha Sana, and a chidin yiri shan yiri chig in your chig, and a chidin taniri, and a chanta de niri chanta de nigalia condition chimbres, dig penzucha de Gus. And this bird exists in the in Tibet. Inside the deep deep chadi call your residue Sambala, and a sabria da pe Tibet nilia, and you didn't just chadi yores. And so we see that there are two different species that do not mate with each other and do not have offspring. So two species of birds can exist in the same area but they're different species. So if you look back in time, you can see that this species of bird existed as one species. And there was an original population of birds that could interbreed and have more of the same species. And different populations could exist and there could be gene flow between the speech, the uh, individuals in each population. But as the populations of birds spread around something like the Himalayan mountains, they became slightly different. And 
Chiu do which you are, that pen a charge in the Himalaya and the pa, any Tom do we so do which you are, any Sane Kakalapa, Himalaya and the pa, Tom do we so do which you are in Baina, and the Kunzu Karachagi or Residu Zambala, and Nirita de Bachatu we are is. Until at the end, there were two species living very close to each other, but they were different species. Chesa de Lidu Zambala, that in the Karacha, Karachane, and in that to zip and a chasana, Koran Yitani, which you did, there's a cheaper second day to be over in Bayinaya, and in Karasuore, uh, part of Juju Zambala, Juvache to whom that may be negotiated by Juju Pado, and in that Nikonzu Karachagi or Residu Zambala, and the Kidin Yirikaracha de Giorwata, Juba Jace in a Karat, Jace in a Juba to whom ever in Bayinaya. But this happened over a long, long period of time. Chesa di Lidu Zambala, that di Karachagi or Residu Zambala, and that is the Jurimbo Signalola, and the Petuzi Hansa, Jurimbo Jurimbo, and the Jurim Signaloma Chondi Yores. And if we went back in time and looked, maybe we would not be able to tell that these were different species. Chesa, and the Tuzu, and the Deva Signalola, and the Padus in the Teji Chimba in Baina, and the Zute, and the Yanchik in Yirikara in Badin, and the Sishi Tumar was. But after enough time, and enough mutations could occur, two species could emerge. And these different mutations that occur are different alleles. And some alleles may be more um, prevalent in one population versus another. And eventually building different alleles causes different species to emerge. Until we see an amazing diversity of life in the world. And you see amazing coloration in snakes or um, quills that form in porcupines. And even amazing creatures that exist underwater. And so this um, evolution tends to have major uh, cases where it's exploding. Where there are regions of lots and lots of evolution. And so these are more species forming at diff or when different species formed at different times. And that, um, so for instance, 635 million years ago, there was an explosion in particular types of species. And we see this throughout time. So let's think about how we can build a tree. 
Cesanda nama tu kalau gumba sih gugur yang residen sambal, ane nganzut sesuatu tu dompu jua sewa yang bayi, nane kandek kandek sesuatu sah residen gumba sih gugur yang res. And think about how these animals are related. Ane nama tu gumba sih dekari sih gugur yang residen sambal, ane soca dozu teh dek pasu, ane jawa dek kandek kandek yang sah residen dek gumba sih gugur yang res. So, um, in your uh, by yourself, draw a tree of these animals. Cesa nampak tu ceram so susu yang ni, ane tanda digi, ane soca dozu teh digi, ane dombuji susu rang tu ane ma ane tina das. Think about which animals are most related and which animals are less related. Cesa nampak tu ane sam gumba kari sih gugur yang disitu sambala, ane soca dozu nanola, ane pasu jawa tha nyusu yusin jodi kari sya, ane yang cik jawa and if you are not a great artist, you can just describe the different animals. So take two or three minutes and draw your tree, and you can talk in your groups to see if you have this, a very similar tree. Cesa, dah di, nampak so, ane kama ni sum jig nalo lo susu susu tree, tni ane ruka nalo lo pat so, ane ni ane curan so lo tuh bicara ane di gan cik bocik yang sila itu mendo dosi ni ane sis. Ah, khusus sih dia. Hmm. Saya bilang nggak masih ayuh. Tinggal tu di. दिल लगे खाली सब होते हैं ना चिपंग की नहीं चिंग लगे रहते हैं स्क्वेरल जोन अब जितना Okay, which two animals appear to be most closely related? Tan nampak so, di nalo ane ane jeda nyesu yunjo di ni ni kaki resha as di nalo ane. Tambo dah ni ba, posisi. Yunjo ni de, okay. Yes, these two lizards or these are both lizards that my son has for a pet. Cezanda tu tu cedih angzu di cah degi ores tak kena angzu kars lagi wah, tanda sampai kiri sudah budi, ini korang ini ini pugi tu tu ni kiling jodin deh insar wah di cah degi ores. Which which animal are these two most closely related to? Cezanda dini dah tu tu guna nol, ini dini ni dah, ini jeda ni show inge deh kari insar es. Ah, cuma madi. Some of them are saying the turtle is the most closely related, and the others are saying this chimpanzee or the squirrel. Okay. Okay. Yes, they are. These are all reptiles. So the, rep, the reptiles are more closely related than the mammal. Okay, 
and you rest aganda. So is this tree correct? Chesa dang and zuki says okay, don't put it in this tiba in my inner, she don't put it in this tiba in my din jig do a mindusta. Jiba de nova is tidandi. The rebel and the money the tiny share in the tarring jurish. Ah, allegua, allegua. So, uh, Chuck Harley, rebel and ammonizia, coining a rich tiny worm in the tarring jurish. Uh, Rubeda Dinia, Damonit. Okay. Rubeda Tamuni, okay. Uh, one of them are one of them are saying that the uh, turtle and the lizard are most you know uh, distant oh, related. Just... Yeah, not the most closely you know uh, related one. Why? Why do they do that? 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 Why do they just because of the uh, his observation on the previous uh, uh, phylogenetic tree, it seems the uh, the, uh, the the turtles are more in a distant share, more distant, you know, common uh, ancestor than the other. So here is the lizard. Yes, they did the, somebody get it to us. They any related to us, and their most common ancestor is here. Chesa Kunzugi and in the Retan Yeshugi Tandanganzu Mebu Yosadi Pagiri to us. And the mammal most common ancestor is further in history. Chesa Ladila de Sambala Nusim Yishin Yugi. Any Kunzugi and in Tumugi Mebu Yosadi, Lujuk Tontewa in the Tandu Dile Pata Rimaduas. So it is, it, it doesn't look as far away as you may think, but turtles are more closely related to lizards than lizards are to mammals. Chesandila de Sambala Carres, it is Sambala, and the Kuranzo Sambana Jiti Carso, which is Yanta Rimbo Mayimbache, and then Azu, and in Jewagish and Teba in Baina, and then the Rubi de Zuchedi, and the Samba Gereda, and the Jewagish and Jutida, and the Samba Gereda, Tadanganzu, and the Nususim Jing Baru in Jewadi in Teba in Baina, and the Samba Gereda, and the Rubi Parugi, and the Chigi Carso, Mebon Masuna, and the Tanya Yores. So this tree is correct. So is this tree also correct? That the any Didiore Yes, many of them are saying yes. Yes, absolutely. This is also correct. Okay, what about this tree? The Ndidu Mindus Nabazo. Many of them are saying yes. Yes, it has the same information. Okay, what about this tree? No, many of them are saying this is not correct. Correct, excellent. Okay, good. Okay, one other um, thing we want to do is if we build a tree like this, where do we add the next species? So if we add the snake, where does the snake go in our tree? So on the tree that you drew, try yes, to sir. add the snake. Uh, uh, so many of them are saying uh, these uh, snakes should be placed in between uh, the uh, turtle and the lizard. Okay, let's see. 
So, so it does not go here. <laughs> no. Dima didn't did do notice. Wrong. Yes, this is wrong. Wrong. Here. Did he do this? No, 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 no. Wrong. Did he do this? Yes, yes. Okay, good. And if we, if we go back in history and we look further in history for uh, an example of a snake and a lizard that share a common ancestor, we do find one. So if we look back in the fossils, we can find snakes that look like they have very very small legs and using the fossils and using dna we can build more and more of these trees and different characteristics can help us make different trees. Another thing we can do is look at um, mammals or different animals that exist in the wild today. So this has the same bones that are found in your hand and arm. So even though your the bones of your fingers are short, the bones of these fingers are very long. Does anyone know what animal may have an uh, arm like this? Bat. Correct. <laughs> Correct. That is a bat. Let's look. This mammal also has bones that are uh, very similar to our hand and arm. But this animal has evolved arms that dig. Arms evolve what? Evolved arms that do a lot of digging. Uh, digging, okay. Uh -huh. Does anyone have a guess at what this animal is that digs in the dirt? Tom. Ah. And uh, some of them are saying it could be bear. It's smaller. It's called a mole. Mole like the chunjuris and the digala. Chunjuris. 
Much smaller than a bear. This is also a very small animal um, or a smaller animal, but it has similar um, dimensions of its arms like we do. Anyone guess what animal this is? This is called a mouse. Some of them said mouse. Oh, good, good. Right. All right, last one. So if we look at the bones of this uh, mammal, we see the same bones, but in a, a much different shape. This is a, it almost exists as a straight line. Is this like a what? It almost exists as a straight structure, not uh -huh, yeah, doesn't yeah. have uh -huh. a lot of bends. Okay, okay. That the little sambala di any pa you do sambala but kaptu chick here, any pa zu kuja shiras me wajia katu ma situation just so dobs rest that kind of thing or don't katu my unjo so dobs. Any guess here? Some of them are saying it could be dolphin and some of them ah ah very good, very good. Very good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so even though these animals look well, very, very different, they have very similar bones in them. So by looking at these bones, we can tell that they are actually much closer related than some other um, animals. And you can see how they match up even um, in different organisms. And even though birds and bats both fly, they have different structures in their wings. And so a bat has five fingers, whereas a bird only has three. And so even though we can say, oh, birds and bats seem to be closely related because they fly, we know that birds and humans are more closely related because of their skeleton. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've, I hope you've seen some different ways that you can present evolution information. 
Chesan aning geng korang ki rewal kari yu sidu sambala Chonan so ki ane chik impiju sidu sambala Ane chik khasho ka mandaw mangbo shibi jik tone Ane shi ya yu ba chik dan ane dhe shi ya yu deba jik Tindre ki samlo jung khotu ya yu tutu yu bigi ane rewal chik yu es And as you work in your groups over tomorrow morning and the rest of the mornings You can think about how to present evolutionary topics Make sure you keep your KWL chart so you can make sure you find the information to the questions you want to know. And we have time for a couple questions, if there are them. ยังคิดสองเดือนสองเดือนสองเดือนสองเดือนสองทันทีเนี่ยที่ว่าดีทันทีปีนั้นเจ็บร้ายด้วยจีนนั่นคนที่เลี้ยงเจอหรือวะเ
the visual system of these animals perfectly. So we don't know what seems like it's hidden and what seems like it is um, obvious to attack. Chesanti Lodi Sambala, Ani Takhanda Khariri Siddhi Sambala, Ani Khunsu Pigi Giddi Chichu Yue Shinjo Digi, Ani Chik Khalsa Gore Susu, Ani Chik Ngamba Chindu Sambala, Dili Yue Re, Da Khanda Pigi Le, Ani Tongdu Sambala, Sebun Tonga Da Man Tonga, Da Tindre Ki Toni, Ani Chik Nisun Dabu Jepjung Yue Chogu Yue Re, Da Khanda Shibja Shira Ngo Tsugu Mebi Sodo Shesu. Yes, Ani Shemba Yue Chuba. Sir, it was the Gula Toma Meba Shagribe, the Killing Rivet. Ah, Sir, it was a Gula Toma Meba. Karil Toma Meba. Gula, Gula. Gula? You see, it's about a Tananga Zuriju. My Gugu Chidani, you die, you two. You don't do say Gula. You don't do say Gula. Oh, the Toma Meba Killing Rivet. Ali, Ali, okay. So it is a more like a philosophical question. And so when you speak about the cause, do scientists uh, uh, believe the beginningless cause? The cl say that clause again. Cause of beginningless, beginningless. Um, so beginningless means uh, the cause that cannot be uh, in the trace its origin. And uh, if you trace the origin, then it goes, you know, infinite, you know, uh, infinite unit spectrum or some sort of, you know, beginning okay. as mm -hmm. that, that there, that there is no beginning to the, the world or to, to what beginning to what? So we do have some evidence that there was a time on earth where there was no life. But as for, as for de um, describing what was before the planet was formed, we uh, biology certainly can't address that question. Sorry. <laughs> yes. All right, we have 12.30. I want to say thank you all so much. It's always a pleasure teaching you. Um, uh, Miguel will be taking over tomorrow and I will be here for your presentations. Yes, uh any number so that any uh churan so la do sine love to that the zoot the pay me to watch and chong so any to the chase any gala kora any the sunny and Miguel gi that loves and here this gala kora and a gemma number so gi tam shin and big couple then big in judom jorba dig up again a corner chagging is Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.